Alright, good day and welcome to this tutorial class. So we'll be looking at the problem on the screen which is conversion from two-dimensional towards to three-dimensional. Okay, so we'll be actually increasing the scale of this particular object to a scale of two ratio one. That is all the dimensions there will be what will be multiplied by two and we are converting them to millimeters. Okay, so as to make it we are converting them to millimeters. Alright, so as it is now before we proceed my name remains Oluwa Tumbi Blessing Ola Lekon, the founder of Michael Tech okay so the very first thing I'm going to actually do here is this I'm going to produce a thin horizontal line in this order like this after that I'm going to project my isometric plane like this so first of all a vertical line in this order okay followed by this isometric ring with my 30 60 degree set square yeah like that and on this other side also my isometric plane right there also now after having that what is the next procedure okay so this object on the screen is in first angle orthographic projection that is the front view at the top and the plan view underneath okay so i'm going to actually make uh this right hand side as our corner right here okay so the height there converting it to millimeters on a scale of two ratio one i'm having then approximating it i'm having length of 45 okay so with my ruler i measure mark of 45 which is this mark of 45 which is this i what i mark that right here that's the mark of 45 right there okay and uh the span yeah if you look at our letter left hand side that is radius 1.5 so converting it to millimeters okay and multiplying it by two i'm having radius of what radius of 30 radius of 30 which is diameter what's diameter 60. so standing right here i measure mark of 60 which is this also okay then towards this axis uh my total length there okay i'm having mark of 5.62 that 5.62 converting it to millimeter and multiplying by two i'm having 112 okay so i'm going to measure the mark of 112 first of all 112 this is it 110 112 this is mark 112 right here okay after mark 112 so with radius 30 i'm going to add that radius 30 there so from here down here that's the radius 30 right there so having that i'm going to project those ones first of all so as to make it uh much more conspicuous okay so i want to scatter everything so mark one and two here first of all i draw upwards then this mark of 30 i draw it upwards okay so the height here which is this isometrically i project all right so that same height okay towards this axis isometrically i would i project it like this can you see that okay so then i what i project it also inwards like this okay all right so uh, let me adjust the camera so that you can see everything that actually enters okay before i adjust let's actually start from this bottom here so i'm going to erase this part yeah i don't actually need this this extension i'm going to erase that off okay after erasing that yeah the thickness of the edge i'm having a mark of what uh, 0.94 converting it that is going to be mark of what 19 so standing right here with mark 19 which is this i mark mark 19 mark followed by mark of what mark of 45 okay from this area also i pick mark of what 45 which is this okay so those two edges i'm going to actually pull them downward vertically first of all faintly okay so this right here this right here then i'm going to project them inwards like this also so from here right there and from here right there okay so uh, the thickness i'm having 0.75 so converting it i'm having mark of 15. so from the bottom here okay so mark of 15 10 15 this is mark of 15 right here so i'm going to project that isometrically like this the mark of 15 faintly Think this should be enough right here okay so i have that right there so what's the next thing for me to actually do the next thing for me to do is pick my ruler okay taking this area down here 
like this ticking this area down here like this ticking this area down here like this and this down here like this okay then i'm going to what ticking this like this ticking this like this okay i'm going to ticking this also like this right so can you see that okay so i'm going to ticking this also like this right i'm going to ticking this also like this right i'm going to ticking this this way so in that order so i'm going to actually pick my set square okay so from this junction here yeah yeah, that junction there isometrically like this inwards faintly first of all then this right here vertically faintly okay then like this this right here like this okay so now i'm going to work, bring them out boldly also I'm going to thicken them okay so right here and uh, right yeah so it's looking like it isn't it does it okay so uh next procedure next procedure so let's develop our, our cylindrical part here first of all so i'm going to erase this part actually okay erasing that part actually so let me adjust my camera screen okay so picking my 30 degree set square okay pushing this this way and drawing this in that order so right here i draw this also so i'm going to pick my ruler okay i'm applying the principle of isometric curve here actually okay so yeah here to here is 30 already so i'm going to pick another 30 inwards so from here to here to be another 30 then i'm going to what mark that right here so i'm going to what project also like this so as it stands now here to here is what is 60 then i'm going to apply my principle of, of isometric curve so before doing that i need to actually get the midpoint here also here is 60 okay i need to get the midpoint which is 30 which is that okay careful yeah which is that okay then i'm going to what project it isometrically like this inwards like that okay so having it in that order next procedure is i'm going to join the longest diagonal which is here to here faintly okay so I need this part so i'm going to draw this right here from this junction then from this junction also right here okay the next procedure is i'm going to pick my compass okay picking my compass standing right here at this junction extend my compass down here okay do you see that i'm going to what draw this as you can see on the screen i'm drawing this thickening it thickening it once and for all okay then from this junction you see with my compass i extend down to this area then i what then i draw as you can see on the screen right there i what i draw sorry it makes up i draw i draw right there as you can see on the screen okay so this area actually has a thickness of 7.5 which is what 15 also so from here i measure mark of 15 downwards which is this so then i'm going to project this also like this isometrical dynamic of 15. okay i'm projecting it this way also okay so what i'm going to do right now is i'm going to transfer each of those shapes at the top down here okay so this down here like this do you see that all right so then i'm going to transfer this also like this okay so then i'm transferring this also like this in that order then i'm transferring this towards this area like this faintly okay then this right here like this faintly okay then like this also faintly all right so then i'm going to uh, pull this together to this right here okay then I'm going to actually uh, 
please take note of those areas i'm actually pulling towards each other so the midpoint here okay i'm going to what pull this junction downward like this okay yeah and i'm going to what uh pull it down here also like this to this which is this line here aha uh -huh. so now as it stands now so take note i'm going to join this junction here let me name it a and this junction here do you see b i'm going to join them together first of all okay so which is this like this do you see that okay so i'm joining this junction c and this junction what d okay no i won't join that junction sorry see this aj yeah let me name this c1 okay to d so i'm joining this c1 now to d right there like this okay do you see that Okay, I think that's actually the area I need right there. That's the area I actually need right there. So, what I'm going to do is pick my compass. Okay, picking my compass. This junction here, look. Please be careful. Look very at this junction here. Place my compass at this junction right here. Okay, then coming to mark C here. Okay, I draw like this. You see, I draw like this. From that junction to C, I draw like this. After drawing in that order, I join with my ruler from here down here like this. Do you see that? All right. Then I what? I join the whole of this to this like this. Okay. I join the whole of this down here also. All right. So yeah. Okay, I'm coming uh, from the bottom here. Okay, I'm measuring mark of 82. So from this area, mark of 82. Okay, this is the mark of 82 right here. 81, 82, this is 82 right there. And that mark of 82, I'm going to project it vertically upwards. So this is it, yeah. So then I'm drawing this from here to this mark of 82 here, like this. Then I'm picking my ruler, joining this from here to here like this okay then from here to here like that okay now we are almost done it remains the, the two circles here of uh diameter 1.30 so converting that that is diameter 26 even that was diameter 26 even. so let's do the first one right here let's do the first one right here so this is the midpoint of our fourth circle right here diameter 26 that will be radius what radius 13 with my compass I measure radius 13 which is this okay with radius 13 which is this i stand at this center i what i make an arc one two three and what and four so having it that way i'm going to develop a square on those uh points okay so with my set square first of all i'm going to actually increase the texture of this so that it can stand out okay so i'm ruling this one at the second junction here i'm running this two okay you can see it stands out isn't it so then right here also i'm running this three then i'm running this four okay what's the next step i'm going to pick my ruler longest diagonal already aligned so from this junction to here like this so then from here to here like this zoom so on this opposite corner down here like this zoom then from this junction to that corner also like this zoom so the next procedure is pick my compass okay stand at this corner extend it to this edge and what draw as you can see i'm going to make it thick once and for all okay make it thick can you see that so standing right here also to this corner and what draw look it both as you can see on the screen then at this intersection that junction to this side okay so from this junction okay to either this aj or the i what i draw this bold do you see that bold okay then standing at this junction also yeah at this junction external my compass to this aj i what i draw this oh sorry ensure your compass is not shaking okay yeah so i draw that sorry my compass actually should i'm going to redraw that area okay 
so from this junction okay to this area like this and what draw okay draw that's it that's it right there okay so that's now right inside here we have the same circle but if you look at that problem on the screen it says circle of diameter 1.32 times so we have another one here okay so earlier on we said the distance from here to here is what 45 let's get the midpoint half of 45 is what uh 22.5 so let's get the midpoint here the midpoint here should be a mark of 23 that should be the mark of the midpoint here which is this right here so i've gotten the midpoint i'm coming okay okay the reward is what is 23 so it's my ruler right here okay i pick the mark of 23 20 this is this mark of 23 right there so the mark of 23 i'm going to project it isometrically like this all right faintly like that so also distance from here to here is what uh 60 if i can recall that is 60 half of 60 is what is 30 so uh, i pick my ruler major mark of 30 which is this okay which is this all right so i'm going to project that also isometrically which is actually this right here so now i'm going to pick my compass so diameter 26 that's radius what radius 13 with my compass i pick mark of 13 which is this which radius 13 i stand at this junction which is the midpoint one two three and what and four okay having it in that order i'm going to try and develop it actually we'll be seeing a fraction of the cylinder there we might not even see it so i just want to actually check whether we are going to see a fraction of it that's why i'm doing all of this so if at the end of the day we can't see it then we don't need to actually show this aspect okay so that is that about that right so as it is now i'm joining longest diagonal which is here to here then the short diagonal which is here to here and uh right here back here all right so then the same thing to the opposite side here to here and here to here okay so picking my compass right here so standing here i'm going to what draw this standing here like this so i'm only going to see this part this is the only part i'm going to see i'm going to take it out only this part that's where i'm going to see here to here okay then i'm going to see this part also yeah from here to here i'm seeing this part also i'm going to take in it here to here then i will be seeing this part also okay yeah just a fraction yeah this fraction also so after that i'm going to actually taking my edge here in the first place which is this okay and let me take this also very well so that is the reproduction of the object on the screen in isometric projection kindly and share subscribe to our youtube channel and also refer it to your friends who might be in need of it thank you my name remains uluwa to be blessing